closer. He lives in you. Lion King was a story that people knew intimately. Simba. The reason the Lion King has endured is because the inspiration that we're getting from it is universal. <laughs> it's a story that remains true to everybody. The songs were amazing. It just felt like everything you want from a Disney movie. Getting to relive it in a new way is really exciting. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? Nice! Boom! I'm entering into Lion King, inheriting all that I learned on Jungle Book. There was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools and a new technology. John just seems to have it all there. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. I really admire the vast array of talent that's been assembled for this film. It's a privilege to be counted among these actors. Dad, let me come. I can help. No, son, you stay with the other cubs. And then the music, there was such a rich tradition surrounding the songs that Hans and Elton and Tim Rice and now Pharrell worked on. Also, it's nice to have actors who are both the performers and the singers. You have Beyonce and Donald. They present something totally new and exciting. You have to take your place as king. These are real musicians bringing their creative voices to this. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna. It's our problem-free philosophy. Hakuna, Matata. You guys sounded great. <laughs> this has been a really incredible experience. I've never seen anything made this way before. The level of care where everybody knows how much it means and everybody's that invested. Seeing you again, you don't know what this will mean to everyone. I love the idea of audiences rediscovering something. You know that it's going to be very compelling and exciting. We wanted to capture what people's memory was of this with both the music and the imagery. And I think when you could capture the spirit but show them something new and surprising, it's sort of the best combo. It is time.